Hi there, Steve Better from Autodesk in the UK back with you. Um, just want to spend a little bit of time talking about the integration between Autodesk Alias Design and Autodesk Inventor. Now, as you probably know, both Alias Design and Inventor are part of Product Design Suite Ultimate, so they're both in the same box, um, giving you the ability to do all your surface-based design inside of or inside of Alias Design, and then all and then reuse that surface-based geometry inside of Autodesk Inventor to do the engineering design. Now, with the ability inside of Inventor to open up those .wire files, we're actually taking the surface data that was created in Alias Design and directly bringing them into Inventor so that we can start to work on that to actually create the, uh, the B-side surfaces or the engineering data for things like ribs and bosses and webs and screw holes. Um, we can use the thicken tools and the sculpt tools. All of that great functionality that we've got inside of Inventor to actually create the, the engineering design. But as a design engineer, um, you know, that's working with a product designer or an industrial designer using Alias Design, um, you know, you may be in a situation where that design changes once you've actually started to create the engineering data. And as we've got here, um, a design change has been made, but that design change has been made to the surface data inside of Alias Design. But because we have an associative link between the data within Alias Design and what we have within Autodesk Inventor, it means that we can update that data directly inside of Inventor. But as the design engineer, I've still got complete control over how that data propagates into um, the engineering design that I've been working on within Inventor. What you can see on screen at the moment is the Update Associations tool. On the left hand side, we've got the original surfaces um, as part of the alias wire file. On the right hand side, we've got the surfaces as they now are inside of Inventor. So what I can actually choose to do here is actually start to match up surfaces. So I can say that modif the modified surfaces or the deleted surfaces or the newly added surfaces inside of Alias Design, how they actually propagate to each of the surfaces and each of them parts of the geometry inside of Inventor. So as a design engineer, I've got complete control over how these um, how these updates are actually made with inside of my engineering design, making sure that if I'm adding ribs and bosses and webs um, and clips and all of that functional design um, that's required, making sure that all of those are updated as we require them.